Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hillary and I am a psychic medium as well as a spiritual, uh, spiritual counselor and spiritual mentor as well as a published artist and a podcast host. <laughs> so today I'm going to be talking about another spiritual topic that I notice comes up a lot with my subscribers and a lot of other people that I know because we're simply, sorry, just not educated on the topic. So the topic today is going to be about the empath, okay? I talk about the empath a lot in my other videos as well. But today I want to discuss more about the empath, energetic boundaries, as well as mental illness and how they all sort of can go together into one big problem, okay? And the reason why I want to discuss this is because, like I said, a lot of people don't know how to set boundaries. Some, a lot of people don't even know what the empath is or you know, anything about the empath. And a lot of people who are empaths are just walking around feeling all of this anxiety and depression in them, in their, you know, in their energetic body because they think that they just have anxiety or they have depression. Or it could just be that they are an empath. Okay, so I have my script like usual. So I'm gonna go through my script. Um, and if you're new here, hi, hello. Please uh, press the little bell notification and the subscribe. If you would like to see more of my videos, that'd be greatly, greatly appreciated. And um, I also want to say thank you so much for the uh, 2K followers. Uh, that truly means so much to me. I am so, so grateful for all of you so much. And I think that is just amazing that so many people are interested in uh, true crime and spirituality like I am. So I just want to say a big, big thank you to you guys uh, for all your support and everything. Um, all your wonderful, beautiful comments. I love you all so much. So we'll just get right into the video. So like I said, today is not going to be a missing person or a true crime case. It is going to be about the empath, mental illness, and energetic boundaries. So first, let's get into what is an empath in case you don't already know. So an empath is someone who instinctively, sometimes even unconsciously, can enter into emotions and experiences of others. It isn't quite the same as being compassionate or kind. You don't so much understand what someone might be feeling so much as actually experiencing it um, along with them, okay? So it isn't something you try to do deliberately. You can just tell from subtle inflections in the body language and tone of others what someone is actually feeling. Sometimes you're amazed what other, that other people can't also sense these things. I know I am, you know, I was, I'm always amazed sometimes when people can't sense what's going on with somebody because my whole life I've been doing that. So sometimes you're amazed and it's so easy for you to step into other people's shoes and empathize with their emotions where other people don't, that aren't an empath, don't necessarily do this, okay? So for all of my life, I carried on emotions that weren't mine. Once I became a young teen, I developed depression, anxiety, and OCD. I knew nothing about what an empath is. In fact, I didn't even know what it was until I went through my spiritual awakening in my 30s. Uh, this is when I realized that nothing was actually wrong with me and that I was in fact absorbing and carrying around everyone else's emotions and energy for all of those years, okay? So I feel like there were so many years of my life that were ripped away from me. Uh, struggling with social anxiety, depression, general anxiety, okay, I, I had a lot of things that just came out of nowhere because I was holding on to all of other people's emotions in my energetic field, which I didn't know, especially as a teen because I was not educated about spirituality or the empath, okay, and this is why these, I feel like these subjects are so important to discuss because a lot of us aren't educated as children, our parents aren't teaching us these things, they don't even know what an empath is themselves, and there's just so much discussions about mental illness, which is great and amazing, but there's no discussions about spirituality or being an empath or that maybe someone is diagnosed with anxiety or depression, but really they're just an empath and don't even know. I'm not saying that mental illness is not a real thing, okay? I'm not a doctor, okay? So please don't go off any of your medications. I'm not saying that at all. And I'm not saying you don't have a mental illness and in fact you're an empath, okay? I'm saying you could be and you could be diagnosed with something different because I'm not a doctor. So mental illness is a very serious thing. Um, it can also be hereditary and it's a very, very, very real illness, okay? So please don't go off any of your medications because of this video, don't do that. What I'm saying is you could be someone that is suffering from mental illness as well as being an empath. So you could have both of these things. It sucks, it's unfortunate, but it's true. Right? Because of what I went through, I wanted to make this video to educate others about boundaries when you are an empath and noticing these things in yourself when you are carrying on others emotions unfortunately boundaries do get a bad name or a bad rep uh, they can seem harsh and uncaring when in fact it's actually the opposite 
uh, healthy boundaries are what keep us safe enough that we can be our most loving, tender selves. And without them, we'll just get chewed up, feeling like we've been through a cheese grater, honestly, or gritting our teeth and trying to be patient and kind and loving, heaven help us. Inevitably, we push ourselves too far and we explode, shocking everybody, okay? So if you are someone that, you know, you're always feeling anxiety, you're always feeling all of these emotions or depression, or you're feeling all these things and you're like what the hell is wrong with me and then all of a sudden you explode out of nowhere because you're keeping it all on yourself because you don't want to explode on others right and a lot of parents do this as well with our children but really it's that you're not maybe setting boundaries of people you love in your life um to protect yourself as a sensitive person as an empath okay because you are actually in fact like i've said a million times absorbing their emotions into your energetic field okay so everyone has some capacity of empathy, but if you're highly empathetic, empathic, you might not know how to turn it off even when you want to, right? It can be disconcerting uh, to think, or disconcerting to think that someone else's emotions wrecking havoc on your own. But if other people's feelings keep knocking you down or off kilter, you're not crazy, you're not too sensitive, uh, you could just be an empath. So as empaths, we have the capacity to pick up a lot of what is happening around us. And we have the capacity to help, to heal, to serve, and to set beautiful things into motion. But only if we don't get washed away by other people's emotions. Because being an empath can be a blessing and it can also be a curse. Depending, like I said, if you're setting boundaries and if you're using it in the right way. Because if you are an empath, you are also a healer. That is part of your purpose here um, during this you know, during this spiritual awakening that, awakening that uh, the whole entire universe is pretty much going through. And a lot of people are waking up to the fact that they are empaths now. So there are ways I personally set boundaries, which has helped me greatly in my life uh, that I wanted to share with you. So one thing that I do do is I ask my guides, I ask my ancestors, and it's very, very important also to ask Archangel Michael because he is the Archangel of healing and cutting off toxic people and toxic situations okay i ask them to protect me and I, I ask them to protect my family and my children as well but i also ask them to help me vibrate this big white light around me because that's a healing energy so um this one's really simple obviously uh i, I literally just do it when i'm meditating every day and whenever i feel the need for more protection um from absorbing other people's emotions so you don't need to say it out loud, uh, you can say it in your head, um, and your team of spirit guides and your ancestors, etc., will hear you. Okay, I promise they will hear you and they will help you keep these this toxic energy away from you. Second thing, it's very very important. It's it sounds simple, but it's not right. And as I'm past, we know this. It's saying no. Since we feel what others need and how much pain they are in, it's very difficult for us to say no. So a great way to tell when we, you feel no is to watch for resentfulness in yourself because resentment is the red flag that lets you know you are in a situation with an energy imbalance where you are giving more to a situation than you are getting back. Also, guilt plays a huge role in saying no. And this could be because in abusive of abusive relationships you may have had where someone made you feel bad about saying no or could it have been a situation from any situation from anybody where someone made you feel bad about saying no. And if this is the case, then it means you have healing to do, okay? So you have to do some more meditating and really look to see where that, why you're feeling that way why it's why it's hard for you to say no other than the fact that you're an empath if there is something okay so you could do inner child work you could do shadow work um i'll do videos about these you guys don't know what they are as well i think i have other videos on my channel where i do discuss them more but these things are going to be very helpful to pinpoint where you know why you are feeling this way why it's hard for you to say no so once you practice saying no to people, it does become easy, easier and also very empowering. So even just practicing saying no in the mirror to yourself, okay? That honestly, it, it makes a load of a difference. So I like to vision an energetic wall covering my heart when I go out around people. This is the third thing that I do. For me, this blocks out any negative energy they may be putting out unknowingly or knowingly. And I say this affirmation, nobody can make me feel anything I don't wanna feel unless I give them permission. So affirmations are a great, great way, an amazing way to protect your, yourself as an empath, to protect your whole energetic, you know, your energetic field and your aura, which I discussed in other videos. No one can make you feel anything unless you give them permission, right? 
So by not setting boundaries with people, that is sort of you giving them permission to make you feel whatever way they want you to feel, even if they're doing it not knowingly. Okay. So this one's really hard and it's one that took me a long time to do, but once I did, my life became a lot easier. Cutting out toxic people. I absolutely hate the saying, well, they are your family, so you need to forgive them. Okay, that saying is absolutely false. And I've cut out many family members in my life as well as friends that were toxic to me. And yes, it was very, very hard, but it was very, very ne necessary for me to do. And I realized this after my spiritual awakening when I became, when I started to understand that I was an, uh, an empath. So it does not matter if someone is your blood, okay? If, uh, if they are toxic to you, then you have every right to cut them out. Did, and I wrote down here in my script, do they care that you were family when they were hurting you? Ask yourself that. Did they care that you were their family when they were hurting you? No, they clearly didn't. And if they're doing it unknowingly, this is when you don't have to cut someone out. This is where you could set boundaries and say, you know, hey, I hate when you do this or when you talk about this because I'm an, just, you can just say, you know, because I'm an empath. If that makes you feel crazy, then you can say, because I'm sensitive. So self-care is the next one that is absolutely huge that a lot of empaths, you know, neglect in our lives. And, you know, I wrote down here, if you gave yourself all the love, support, and attention that you give to others, what would you do differently? You could ask yourself this question in the spirit of focusing more on self-care. As an empath, you are inclined to constantly be there for others, okay? So because part of our purpose here is to help heal others. That's why we're always feeling this need to help others. This is why we get into toxic relationships. So it is at least important, maybe even more so, to be there for yourself. Therefore, put your own well-being at the top of your priority list. So number uh, six I have here is communication. So tell people and speak up about what you accept and what you don't accept from people. If they cross those boundaries, let them know that there is consequences, whether it be taking a break from the relationship or altogether. It's going to take practice and hard work, but it is totally worth it. That's it for today's video. I really just want to come on here and discuss that with you guys because I have a lot of comments from people and subscribers as well as some of my clients that say, you know, I struggle with this and I, I'm always helping others or people are always coming to me with their problems and I always feel anxiety or there's people I even know that have been diagnosed with anxiety and I sort of know from my spirit guides and just getting to know them as a person that they maybe don't have mental illness, they don't have anxiety. That's really just because they're an empath and you know they're not taking the appropriate steps to protect themselves as an empath. Another thing that I discuss a lot, you guys, in my other, another video that I have is clearing your chakras. It's very, very important to clear your energetic field um, you do this through meditation. You can find, you know, all the different chakras in meditations on YouTube. They're free. Hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you in my next video.